Okay, well, hello dragons, how are you all doing today? Um, my name is Andrew Gordon and I'm here today to give you the opportunity of investing in a product called Stable Table. Now to kick off my pitch, what I'd like to do really is to use a few scenarios to talk about the problem that my product solves. And if I can ask you to cast your minds back to a time when you were in a bar, maybe a restaurant, maybe even a hotel, everything's fantastic, the company, the ambience, the music, but there's one thing that really gets on your wick and that is you've got the wobbly table. Now the question is, what do you actually do about this inconvenience? Maybe you'll rip up a beer mat and try and spend five minutes stuffing it underneath uh, the table leg, getting yourself all hot and bothered. Well, I don't think that's good enough. And as you can see, Stable Table consists of eight layers of, of plastic held together by a pin. Extremely simple, you may think, but it actually took quite a lot of time to come up with the specific sizes and dimensions of the product. We could also have Stable Table on a detachable keyring so you could be your own vigilante wobble stopper every time you went out to various pizza restaurants or bars. There's a number of companies interested in actually putting their brand on top of their stable table. To sort of sum up my pitch to you, I would say that this is the only product of its kind anywhere in the world. Thanks for your time. Andrew needs £87,000, and in return he's offering a third of his company. But can he persuade the dragons to part with their money? Um, I'll give you the market. Tables wobbles, stuff wobbles. And that's pretty obvious. Um, how much are you going to charge for them? At the moment, I mean, I basically work full time uh, in a marketing position. Um, I've had no money to promote the product. I've had uh, no time. Uh, uh, this is a pretty simple question. For how sure. much are you going to charge for them? Charge um, will drop for two units below a pound. Yeah. Is there a volume market here somewhere? It depends what we're talking about volume. Uh, well, you a tell large, me you're the expert in wobbly table. A large restaurant chain, for example, maybe has two to three hundred different sites in the UK alone. If we're using this item to promote that particular restaurant, we would make them so that they stood out. Oh, you think they'll put these thingamajiggers in each restaurant? For that particular market, yes. It hasn't started well. Despite Andrew's efforts, Doug Richard does not seem convinced by the product, and he's not alone. Andrew, I have to say, I think your, your, your statement that this is the only invention in the whole world is bizarre, because how, 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 what have you done, travelled the world looking for these? Well, I know if someone else has got something similar in, in our part of the world. Um, well, the internet's a pretty powerful tool, and I've spent two years looking uh, and still haven't come up. Gosh, that's really sad, isn't it? <laughs> so you've asked the internet if there's anyone else in the world who stuck some bits of plastic together yep. to put them under table legs, and the internet has said, no, nobody has. <laughs> well, I've also done a lot of phoning up main distributors who produce novelty items, for example. Yeah. I Go just ahead. think it's the most utterly ridiculous business idea. I can't see that anyone would buy one. Mm? I mean, if I was dining with someone who suddenly got one out of their pocket, I so think that would be totally... That may put you off, but would you, rather geeky. Sit, would you rather sit there and suffer in silence? Well, maybe the, ta well, no. maybe so the I restaurants the I go to no. don't have wobbly tables, I don't know, but okay. Um, okay. I have to say I think it's just totally bizarre. Um, and, and it's not for me. Sorry, I'm out. It's not looking good for Andrew. Rachel is already out and no one seems to be taking his idea seriously. Andrew's chance for investment is looking a bit wobbly. I think it's a totally, totally flawed idea. OK. I can't think of any sponsor who wants to be put under a table leg, except possibly <laughs> a carpet manufacturer. OK. Um, the number of restaurant chains, I've got restaurant chain. There's very, very few that have got more than 10 restaurants in this country. I okay. think it's completely flawed. Okay. Um, I think it's a, it's a nice looking object. It's a nice thing to fiddle with. I think you might sell more for things, something to fiddle with. Sure, okay. I'm not investing in that. Fair enough, thank you. With Simon Woodroff and Rachel Elnor out, Andrew needs to work hard to get the remaining three dragons on side. But I get handwritten letters from customers. You get handwritten letters from customers. And what have the customers paid for the product? Uh, 29.99 for 25 units. That's over a pound a unit? Yeah. And they're writing to you telling you they're a fantastic unit. Are you encouraging them to write these letters? <laughs> Not at all. People don't normally write letters. It's a problem that's, that everyone has experienced and people empathise with that and relate to it. And it, it strikes a funny bone sometimes with a lot of people. So far, no one's had a kind word to say about Stable Table. 
If Andrew is going to get his investment, he must persuade one or more of the remaining three dragons to put their money in. I have to admit, just for clarity's sake, I think it's a you've solved a problem, and I really couldn't care that you have in this instance. It I can't imagine it being a business. Okay. Um, the problem solves itself. It gets sorted. That's what cardboard's for. Okay. That's what matches are for. Okay. Um, I'm out. So the investment is not one for Doug Richard. Just two dragons remain, Peter Jones and Duncan Bannatyne, are Andrew's only hope. Andrew, I think firstly, I think that your presentation today, mm. there are a couple of things really that let it down. The way that you've turned up and the way that you've dressed today, I think has done you absolutely no favours. The fact that you have come with, from a preparation perspective, mm. just your little design here mm. to put in front of us. Okay. And I think that the return on the £87,000 investment doesn't exist. So I do think that uh, you probably will sell a few units, okay. but it's not an investment where I'm going to put substantial amounts of money in because it's not going to give me a return. Okay. So I'm out as well. Sure. Peter Jones is not convinced either. With him out, Andrew is left with just one option. Duncan Bannatyne. It is a problem that sometimes tables are wobbly, <laughs> but the solution is to put beer mats under them. Well, that's why God invented beer mats. <laughs> that's why they're there. Okay. Nobody puts the beer in a beer mat. Okay. Andrew, I have to say, I think it's a stupid idea. It's okay. a stupid invention. Okay. Uh, I'm out. I'm, I'm not interested sure. in the investment. Thanks for your time. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Thank you. So Andrew has been savaged by the dragons. Despite valiantly defending his product, it looks like he'll have to solve the problem of wobbly tables without their help. Hey guys, it is not a bad idea, is it? We've all suffered that. It's not a bad idea. Can you make any well, money out of it? You know, people can constantly can surprise me in this world. <laughs> it's, it's actually a, it's oh. a really, really, really bad idea. Andrew, a tough sell. Mm. Maybe more giggles than uh, investments over the product. Funnily enough, that's the first reaction that most people have. They laugh at the idea. They laugh at it because they can relate to the time that last happened to them. And I guarantee when they're at home tonight, they won't forget Stable Table. Mm.